Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name's Stephanie, this is Fabulous Steph. I've got another slightly not fashion, not beauty box to unbox. Um, it's quite heavy. Can you see it? Yeah. So this is the May box for crafting. It actually arrived over the bank holiday weekend, um, but because I was in Glasgow, uh, I was not able to open it to get it. Um, so, First of all, I've opened it upside down, which is fine. So I will be starting with the snack portion of this box. Yeah. So the first, oh, it's all falling on me. The first thing I can pull out is the roasted onion and turmeric sun bites. Not lying, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't sound like something I would pick up. So if I end up loving these, this is a great little thing to get in a box like this. Um, next thing, this is a can. Interesting. It's the Thatcher's Haze Cloudy Somerset Cider. So this actually has an alcohol content of 4.5%. Um, I didn't expect to get a cider, I'm not going to lie. Next thing that's in here is plantain chips. Sea salt flavour. This is from Pure Leaf. It says it's an Ecuadorian brand. And the last thing that slipped out is a Mallow and Marsh Double Chocolate Marshmallow Bar. That looks gorgeous i'm very excited for that oh this they've given me the magazine this month which is amazing so this should always come with your subscription and it says gin so this must be a picture of the bottle that will be inside um it's got some stuff that's fallen out of it i think it's just yeah bolden five pound off a bag something to do with that stuff let's have a look see if there's anything that might be useful for anyone in there this is a coupon, so unfortunately not useful to anyone else. Um, Bowden, £10 off. It looks like it might be a specific code, but who knows, no one else might have used it. So if you want to go ahead and use that, you can. It just says it's £10 off um, of £30 or more spends until 31st of July. £5 off your first bag at Pat Coffee. This is a generic code, so Gin 5. You can go ahead and use that. Donald Russell. There's a little code to call and quote for an exclusive £10 off. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. And 20% off Mallow and Marsh um, using Craft Gin 20. And it says it's available in a few stores, but I'm assuming that you have to buy it somewhere specifically. Free delivery may spend £13. Must be entered at the basket page. I'm a little confused. I might need to look into how you actually buy those because it's telling me retailers that sell it. Um, this should also have a, an um, cocktail in here. What's in the box? To make your spring special. So page six, it's saying. Okay, so it's just showing me everything that should be in here. It says it's worth over 63 pounds, which it does tell me every time. And it includes the magazine and delivery. The magazine's worth £5, according to them. Um, obviously, they're the only people that sell it. And the delivery is probably worth at least a fiver. So I'm guessing that you really just get like an extra £10 of value from your box. So it's more about the fun of finding out what's inside and like what you're going to be doing, I guess. Um, it's telling me a little bit about the gin. I'm really looking for the bit where it tells me what the cocktail is. Perfect G&T and the Cuckoo Bird, so it's two. So the first one is this right here. If anyone's interested, you can DM me on Insta. I'll send you a picture of this. It's not a problem. The other one is the Cuckoo Bird, which is apparently the master mixologist Maria has came up with her own bespoke recipe to show off the flavors in the gin of the month. Um, it looks quite nice to be fair. Don't know exactly what a Cuckoo Bird is, so it might not be something that you can make at home without buying some of the ingredients from the gin club site. Um, but let's go and take a look at the gin bottle itself. Oh, it's so heavy. So this is what it is packed like. It always comes in this really good wrapping. This you can see actually is pulped here, which shows that there was a bit of like a resistance, but because it's had something to protect it, the bottle's absolutely fine. I've actually used this to transport stuff back here um, when I came back from Glasgow as well, and it traveled really well. 
So our little dressings, I guess you would call it. I probably know what you call it. Garnish. Yeah, that makes much more sense. It's the lemon and juniper for this. Um, I've still got the one from the last one, if I'm being honest. This is hopefully the little bottle of the cuckoo bud right here. So quite nicely wrapped. It is like a little bit like a gift. I get mine every two months. You can set it for every two months. I think every four months, every one month. It's kind of like tailorable. Um, it really doesn't tell me too much about what's in it, apart from lemon juice. But once I've given it a try, I'm happy to, to give you guys a bit of a review. Oh, I'm gonna slide this. I have a ruby and tonic spritz. This looks quite cute. This is probably what gives the color to the cuckoo bird. And it looks like this is just two bottles of tonic from what I saw in the magazine. I do think it's a little bit wasteful to get plain tonic. I can get tonic for about 30 pence in Sainsbury's and I do find it's much of a muchness. But here's the Marlish tonic water. I'll let you guys know if I see that it's particularly better than anything else. So I'm not entirely sure how it could be. And the bottle itself, that is beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. As far as bottles go, like this would be a beautiful vase. So it's from Lancashire. This is um, specifically designed for Craft Gin. It says on the front just here, Craft Gin Club. Special edition, made with fresh water from our spring. Um, it's also got breast cancer care label here, which is interesting. Um, I'm not entirely sure why that is. I would assume that there is some form of affiliation, but I would need to look that up. It says it's a savoury gin with rosemary, lemon thyme, nocellara and sequilo olives. Lemon and big hits of fresh grapefruit. Our farm to bottle spirits are sustainably handcrafted with ethically sourced ingredients and water from our spring. So that's nice. I'm really excited to try this one. Um, I love this little setup. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it's like amazing value for money, but it does give me the opportunity to try gins that I might not have ever heard of. And to be honest with you, based on the price you would pay in supermarkets for this kind of thing, like it's nice to have this sort of put together for you, recommendations for new cocktails for you to try, everything. So yeah, I do think it's something that I enjoy getting. Once a month would be a bit too much for me, but purely because of like my, my personal budget and finances and where I would prioritize stuff like this. Um, but getting it every two months for me is manageable and I think that it's worth it. I'm excited to use this with my roommates and just to all sit and enjoy something a bit different. If you have any questions, you can absolutely let me know. I do have a referral code, which gets you your first box for 24 pound instead of 40 pound. So 16 pound saving. I'll drop the link for that down below in case you want to use it. I do get a referral benefit as well. So if you have a friend who already has Craft Gin Club and you'd rather go through them, I won't be offended. Just make sure you do use someone's referral if you're signing up because there's no point in no one getting a benefit. Um, yeah, plus you get it for cheaper. So why wouldn't you? Yeah, hope you enjoyed watching this. Sorry it's a bit off my normal stream. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you've got this and you've tried the cocktail, please let me know what on earth the Cuckoo Bird cocktail tastes like. Um, if you want to see more content from me, you can go ahead and follow. Or if you just like this video and want to give me a thumbs up, I'd very much appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and have a lovely day.